Hi, and welcome to Confident Faith, where we share and defend the truth of Christianity. In this video, we're looking at the question, what is the Trinity? Now, the doctrine of the Trinity is one of the most central and perplexing teachings in Christian theology. It is a doctrine that asserts that God is one in essence, but exists in three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This concept, while not explicitly named in the Bible, is derived from various passages that, when taken together, reveal this profound mystery of God's nature. Understanding the Trinity is crucial for comprehending the Christian faith, as it touches on the very identity of God in his work in creation, salvation, and sanctification. The term Trinity does not appear in the Bible, yet the doctrine is rooted in the biblical narrative. The Old Testament hints at a complex unity within the Godhead, while the New Testament provides a fuller revelation of this truth. The Old Testament is clear in its affirmation of monotheism, the belief in one God. Deuteronomy 6.4 states, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. This declaration underscores the unity of God, a foundational truth in the Jewish faith. However, within this oneness, the Old Testament contains subtle hints of a plurality within God. In Genesis 1 verse 26, God says, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. The use of the plural pronouns us and our suggests a complexity in God's nature. Some scholars interpret this as a divine counsel or God speaking to angels, but the Christian understanding sees this as an early indication of the Trinity. Another significant passage is Isaiah 48 verse 16, where the speaker, often interpreted as the pre-incarnate Christ, says, And now the Lord God has sent me, and his Spirit. Here, the presence of the Lord God, the Father, the Speaker, the Son, and his Spirit is noted, again hinting at a triune God. The New Testament offers a clearer picture of the Trinity. The baptism of Jesus in the Jordan River is one of the most compelling passages illustrating the Trinity in action. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, we see all three persons of the Godhead. It reads, And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest upon him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. In this scene, Jesus, the Son, is being baptized. The Holy Spirit descends upon him, and the Father's voice from heaven affirms his Son. This event demonstrates the distinctness of each person within the Godhead while maintaining their unity. Jesus' teachings further solidify the doctrine of the Trinity. In John chapter 10, verse 30, Jesus declares, I and the Father are one, affirming his unity with the Father. In John 14, verses 16 and 17, Jesus speaks of the coming of the Holy Spirit, saying, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth. This passage reflects the relationship and distinct roles of each person in the Godhead. Moreover, the Great Commission in Matthew 28, verse 19, explicitly mentions the three persons. It reads, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The singular name paired with the threefold reference to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit emphasizes both the unity and the diversity within the Godhead. The doctrine of the Trinity is not a mathematical puzzle, but a theological reality that transcends human comprehension. It asserts that God is one in essence, but exists in three co-equal, co-eternal persons. Each person of the Trinity is fully God, sharing the same divine nature, yet each is distinct in personhood. The Father is the source and origin of the Godhead. He is often seen as the creator and sustainer of all things, the one who sends the Son into the world. The Son is eternally begotten of the Father, not created, and is fully God. He is the Word made flesh, who came to reveal the Father and to accomplish the work of redemption through his life, death, and resurrection. The Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son, according to Western Christian tradition, and is fully God. He is the one who applies the work of Christ to believers, sanctifies them, and empowers them for service. The early church fathers grappled with the mystery of the Trinity, especially in response to various heresies that denied the full divinity of the Son or the distinct personhood of the Holy Spirit. 
the Nicene Creed, formulated at the Council of Nicaea in AD 325, was a response to such challenges and remains a definitive statement of Trinitarian faith. The Creed affirms the belief in one God, the Father Almighty, one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of life. The doctrine of the Trinity is not merely an abstract theological concept, but has practical implications for Christian life and worship. The Trinity is reflected in Christian worship where prayers are offered to the Father through the Son in the Holy Spirit. This Trinitarian pattern underscores the relational nature of God and invites believers into a relationship with each person of the Godhead. Moreover, the Trinity models perfect love and unity. The love that exists within the Trinity is self-giving and eternal. This divine love is the foundation of all Christian ethics and community. Believers are called to reflect this Trinitarian love in their relationships, striving for unity and love in the church and the world. The Trinity also provides a framework for understanding the mission of the church. The Father sends the Son into the world to redeem it, and the Son sends the Spirit to empower believers to continue His work. The church's mission is therefore rooted in the Trinitarian mission of God, making disciples in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The doctrine of the Trinity is a mystery that both invites awe and demands faith. It reveals a God who is both one and three, who is beyond full human understanding, yet intimately involved in the world he created. The Trinity is foundational to Christian belief, shaping our understanding of God, salvation, and the Christian life. As we contemplate this profound mystery, we are drawn deeper into the love and unity that exists within the Godhead, and we are called to reflect that same love and unity in our lives. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're on YouTube and you'd like to be notified whenever we release new videos, be sure to click subscribe below, remembering to also hit that bell icon so you do not miss a thing. Also, a massive thank you to all of the partners of Confident Faith for your support and generous contributions. If you're interested in supporting the work Confident Faith is doing, head to confidentfaith.com.au slash partner. From there, you can learn all about how you can sow into this ministry to help us train and equip the church and also to share and defend the truth of Christianity with the world.